Welcome back everybody, Lazlan back, Kona and Exiles. So as you can see, we set a little bit little base down up here by Mechamosis' Spire. Got some dancers, got our two thralls that we're going to take in. We brought an extra couple thralls. I'm going to play a clip right here. As you can see, the, um, the boss comes down, even with a torch. And I was looking on Reddit and it looked like it was some kind of bug. But uh, they must have patched it now, so we're actually going to grab our two new thralls. Um, Delincia here is only level 9, and then the other ones should be the same level. And we're going to run in there and actually fight that boss for real. So um, give me a second, I'll meet you back at the top of the spire, and I'll bring you back when we're ready to jump in. So I'll see you then. Okay, here we go. So we're going to do this quick. We brought our staff this time so that we can cast the spells. We'll give uh, our Delincias some food when we get right close. And we'll pop our potions. Actually, I should quickly... Uh, where is it? Right there. Drink my brew. Okay, let's get some spells cast here. So it is life and death. Uh, path. That's this the one that I want. And then we can cast two of them down there. So I want right there. Life and death. And I think it's that one. Okay, so let's drink our Tears of Gurash. Give her an elixir. And we'll switch out her potion or her food here in a second. I got a clock up in front of me so I can see when uh, if we hit the 15 minute mark. If it bugs out again, I'm going to bail way earlier than 15 minutes we'll try and kill the second tier and get the golems dead to get our guys leveled up uh, let's use this get rid of the corruption but yeah as you've seen in the video like i was standing in the exact same spot and he teleported down and he was the one that actually killed me because i wasn't paying attention to my health might as well get a couple of drinks here Make sure you guys are both on guard me. It's going to be nice to be able to have my shield this time, though. And we'll stay close to this. Oh, I'll start off with getting tripped up. And as you've probably seen in both Valencia's inventories, we have... Uh, extra set potions. So we're going to keep an eye on our health and our poison here. Make sure they're not... Oh. Their little jump that they do that stuns us kind of sucks. The other thing is if this green... This green uh, glow, we can't see. We can't see what color the spiders are. Let's get a potion. Just as I get a potion, they jump me again. Don't let them hit me. Okay, Heliphant, let's get going. Okay, he's still up there. Okay, he teleported down. Gotta keep an eye out for him. Nope. I was wrong. So you can see him right there. Okay, he's gone.
This is actually a good way to level your thralls. Where are you? Ouch. Did he teleport back up there? No, he's down here somewhere. Ladies, do you mind? There he is. Kill him. Potions here. There he, there he is. Okay, five minutes in. Spiders are dead. Let's get uh, a numbing wrap. the first one so this first one should max out my my thralls here he just ripped right through my shield there and our oh. boom they should both be maxed up now We'll check that one in a second. Gotta be careful, I don't want to get caught by two of these. Ow! No, no hitting me. No touchy. It's cool he's got that uh, abyssal shield, eh? Or the abyssal hammer. Kill him. Okay, now... This. Oh! Okay, we're gonna take a second here and just kill guys right in here. I think there's only a finite amount of zombies, and then we can get the hell out. Come on, ladies. They hurt when they hit me. Get off me! Okay. Give me that. Take that. You. Take that. Give me that. Okay. So now we need to destroy the... Altars. One. So the explosive arrows on the altar thing works. Seeing it. Two. Okay, so once we kill this one, this is going to be as far as we've been. Uh, let's get some snake arrows. We'll get healing arrows down. You guys could uh, distract him, that'd be great. This guy hits like a absolute truck. Okay, let me see the bad guy. Don't breathe on me, lady. I'm assuming she's a red mother. Ow! 
Get out of here. Okay. So that's all we gotta do is go up there and kill him. So now we're gonna get our blood crystals from the golems. We got 150. We still got like 10 minutes left. So max level, see that? Get rid of you. Get rid of that. Okay, Magi Skull. And that's it. And Magi Skull. We know an easier way to get Magi Skulls. Um, any more golems? Yeah, one right here. Okay. <sighs> That's a pretty hectic boss fight. So we want to get this first before we do it. Alright, Kirak. Shut up. Take that, take that. Nothing. So now, we're going to start filling with gas. We got our vestment, so let's get the hell out of here. Uh, this way. Start to choke. And I think we're right out here. And get out of here. And that's Kurak's dungeon completed. So, that was good. It was revenge for our Galencias. Just all because of a bug. I think we would have done it in time in the first one. So, what do you got? Um. Bidian Cash. Okay, this is the guy that I hand this into. And we'll look at that later. Does Metcomosis give us any anything new? I've been expecting you. The visions came to me by steaming entrails and divinity. But I also saw a way no. out. By my so potent art, I can harness the coming eclipse oh. and subvert Kurak's work. Okay, so we are done. Madness. So now what we're going to do... Is true. Strength is, is we are going to check strength. our inventory here once we get close enough to something I can dump it off with. So yeah, um, these guys were like level 8. Oh, I lost health there. Yes, they were level 8 when we went in. That's a good one. Uh, a little bit lost damage, and so that's shitty. Level 8 when we went in, the first golem we killed maxes their level out. So I could just wait until that resets, take these two Sumerian Berserkers in there, and get them to max level. But, let's see what we get from the Obsidian Cache. Oh. So it's just a bigger cache than what we had. Oh, I got a Maul Arm. Bigger cache than uh, what you get from the other stuff. But yeah, as you've seen, like we could have waited and got all of the Blood Crystal, or um, Golems to spawn, and we would have had way more blood crystals. But let me grab, I think what we're going to do now, uh, we're going to head to our northern base, and then we'll talk about what's next. Okay, northern base. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to gather the stuff up, and we are actually going to uh, take our bracelet off. We've done everything I wanted to do in the Exiled Lands. Pretty much explored almost everything here. There's probably a little bit more that we could explore in the jungle, but not too worried about it. Um, yeah, so we're going to grab the stuff we need. We're going to head back to the desert. And we are going to take our bracelet off. So give me a couple minutes. I'm going to ditch my thralls, leave them here so that they can now run this base. And, uh, yeah, we'll leave these guys behind. Okay, down south here. Berserker, you're coming with me, so you can guard me on the way there. And Horse, you're coming with me. Berserker could take Horse back to the base once I leave the Exiled Land. So we are heading to Chaos Mouth. Um, it'll be a quick run. I'll go along the river, rip across, but I will bring you back when we get close to Chaos Mouth. And I'll show you the way you got to climb up. And then we will 
finish the ritual and get out of these lands to the next adventure. I'll see you over at Chasmo. Okay, here we go. So, horse, you've been a good steed. You hang out here. Berserker, you take horse back to the Delincias. Uh, I got everything I need. All right, so we are going to climb up here. So this is the first time I've ever done this, being able to uh, take the bracelet off and leave the server. It's kind of a weird feeling after playing on the same server for a long time to take it off and just leave. But the Delincias, the Council of Delincias up in the north will take care of everybody and Hopefully they can someday get their bracelets off. A relatively easy climb. I guess I don't want to make it too difficult. I wonder how good the game's gonna look with the new PC. Be able to render in everything at max distance. Hopefully. I'm gonna be really upset if the new PC can't run it run it very well. <laughs> okay, so now we wanna go down here. And out here. So there's a way to climb up over there as well. Okay. The Altar of Chaos Mouth. The Keystone. I guess I had didn't need to bring that. Now, remove your bracelets and escape the exile land. Please note, doing so will permanently delete your character and restart the game. Yes. Leaving the ghost wall, heading off to the next adventure in Conan Exiles. It's bittersweet. Where will we end up next? We'll see next week. Thanks a lot, everybody. <laughs>